fashion is the armor that helps us survive the mundane realities of everyday life. We invest in trends, in luxury, in fine clothing, all in an effort to escape the realities of our world. Welcome to The Good Life with me, Priyanka Sharma. On the show today, we have a very special guest. Rahul Mishra was the only Indian designer to be invited to the prestigious Paris Fashion Week. On the show today, he'll talk about his unique creation and also tell you why it's high time that Indian fashion makes it to the global stage. Speaking of trends, we'll tell you how nostalgia is the name of the game. All your favorite styles and trends are making a huge comeback. But still, there are some trends that should not be trending at all. They can in fact be dangerous for all of us. We'll talk about turkey teeth. And that's not all. We have a lot of other stories coming up on the show. But first, as always, let's take a look at what's trending in The Good Scoop. French billionaire Bernard Arnault is reportedly reorganizing his holding company, LVMH, to ensure long-term family control over his luxury empire. Europe's wealthiest person is turning a gotch, his family holding company, into a joint stock partnership. Start walking and playing cards to think faster. Greater physical activity has been associated with greater thinking speed reserve, particularly among women, finds a new study. Meanwhile, mental processing speed among both men and women benefited from activities like playing card games and reading. Following in the footsteps of Sephora and Hermes, H&M has halted operations in Russia. The Swedish fashion retailer had paused sales in the country in March, following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. H&M has around 6,000 employees in Russia and have been operating there since 2009. Rahul Mishra, it's a name we're all familiar with in the Indian fashion circuit. His unique designs have continued to enthrall all of us over the years. We've seen his work stand the test of time. Trends have come and gone, but he stayed. He was the only Indian designer to showcase his collection at the Paris Fashion Week alongside big names like Chanel, Balenciaga and Valentino. But at a time when we're all talking about inflation, rising costs of living, who is buying high fashion? On the show today, Rahul Mishra talks about all things fashion and inflation. <laughs> Life, growth, prosperity, extravagance, gilded glamour, abundance of nature. These are just some of the ideas that come to life through these intricate designs. This is the fantastical world of Rahul Mishra. designer is now a force to reckon with on the global stage. His designs and aesthetics have been attracting Indian buyers for quite some time and very recently he took to the runways of Paris to showcase his whimsical creations. He was the only Indian designer to be invited to the prestigious Paris Haute Couture Week 2022. The only one to enter the inner sanctum of French Couture and showcase his designs alongside the likes of Chanel, Balenciaga, Dior, Valentino and many others. His collection was flamboyant to say the least. It was named the Tree of Life, a recurring motif in the folk arts of India. Designs brought the forest to the runway. Each design emulated a century-old tree. The golden leaves symbolize opulence. A little bit of memory and history is weaved into each piece of clothing. We visited the designer at his multi-story warehouse near New Delhi. We got a peep into his artistry. His inspiration, his craftsmanship. Let's see how his artisans are weaving magic onto Indian clothing. E. 
Each stitch tells a story. From a humble village in Kanpur in India to striking gold in Paris, Rahul Mishra has come a long way. He's seen trends come and go in Indian fashion. In a candid chat, we asked him about his showing in Paris and the famous tree of life motif which was at the center of it all. The idea of tree of life started with my, you know, uh, some of the memories of my childhood. So my house, a village house is on the edge of the village. So it looks at a beautiful farm and right right in front of the house in eastern direction we have got a beautiful giant uh, looking banyan tree every day in the morning when sun rises from behind tree gets the gold golden hue so it's a very very close interaction with tree which i had somehow this collection revolved around that idea of like chasing that that golden hour where tree turns gold and how will it look like how and the life is also gold so that's how the entire relevance was in the collection the contribution of indian designers and artisans to haute couture is significant mishra acknowledges that indian talent is now getting its moment in the sun so paris haute couture week has been one of the you know most important fashion week i would say almost like in olympic or academy awards of fashion so i'm very very honored to be there and the reason behind you know us being there is also you know the beautiful and wonderful team which i am able to work with we have got a team of most amazing most gifted artisans it is very very important that the, the due credit to the power of made in india a soft power what what india has in terms of creating beautiful craftsmanship should be recognized and should be given paris runways came alive with high fashion celebrated designs bespoke luxury million dollar outfits made headlines it was a time for the super rich to indulge and flex their fashion muscles For the rest of the world it was a spectacle. So the question is in times of high inflation who's buying high fashion? Are designers being forced to rethink their strategy? I really feel like when you look at inflation when you look at everything I think fashion design is also kind of art one has to accept it uh, and it's like applied art. Uh when we like any designer who is doing haute couture in paris i'm sure is not looking at just commerce alone they are very big consumers of high fashion who do not think on inflation they want to invest into art the indian wedding market is booming especially after a pandemic driven hiatus high fashion is struggling to draw revenue some indian designers are eyeing global destinations to woo buyers Others are banking on loyal customers. What lies ahead for Rahul Mishra? Fashion is a competitive industry. Trends change faster than you think. You're only as good as your breakout collection, they say. So what advice does Mishra have for younger designers? I think most important is is to value the teamwork. you know value uh, back your ideas and and it's not just about having one single dream one single idea uh, dreaming alone is not enough it's actions which follow after dream as the designer showcases his collection at india couture week it's evident for him the best is yet to come Now that we're talking about fashion, let's talk about what's inside your closet. Remember that old denim jacket that you almost donated or gave to your best friend, or those tattered pair of jeans that you swore you'll never wear again? Well, they're all coming back. The 80s and 90s are back. Nostalgia is the name of the game in fashion. Old school is now cool. Take a look. Let's talk about Stranger Things. The popular sci-fi drama has been a Netflix favorite for quite some time, and not just for its plotline. 
but for its tribute to 1980s pop culture and fashion. Its retro marketing genius has inspired us all to take after the characters. Gen Z, the target audience for the show, is lining up for fashion from a period they never even saw. They say fashion moves in 20-year cycles, mostly when influencers and tastemakers reminisce their childhoods. Y2K fashion has taken over our news feeds and our fashion sensibilities. Wide leg jeans, vivid colors, metallic fabrics. Style from the late 90s and 2000s is dominating racks in 2022. Bubble dresses and volume tops are everywhere. Nostalgia is the name of the game even in bespoke menswear. The recent Milan Fashion Week brought back denim and fringe designs. Bucket hats and bold patterns made a comeback. Who's wearing them? That's yet to be seen. How much pink is too much pink? Enter Barbie Core. While social media went into a tizzy, awaiting the new Barbie film inspired by the beloved doll, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, who will bring Barbie and Ken to life, are trending for their looks. The Barbie aesthetic has become the look of the summer. With celebs adorning different shades of pink, we'll say it, Barbie is the muse of 2022. When Top Gun broke worldwide box office charts, fans were not surprised. Nostalgia had its moment yet again. As Tom Cruise reprised the role of Maverick, fans rushed to stock up on their favourite aviator sunglasses worn by Cruise in the movie. The original had boosted sales of the Ray-Ban original, but 36 years later, the aviators are in hot demand yet again. We're lusting after bags and accessories which were once forgotten in our closet. We're recreating makeup looks from a time long gone. We're hankering after fashion from an era gone by. What does that tell you? Next time you want to give away your favourite pair of denims, a pair of sunglasses or those tattered bags, stop. They'll make a comeback soon. So clearly nostalgia is trending globally. Now let's talk about trends that have no business trending at all. In your endeavour to attain the perfect smile, how much are you willing to spend? How far are you willing to go? In our next story, we'll talk about a viral trend that may just cost you your teeth. Don't try this at home. Have acne? Try out this anti-acne cream. Your skin will be smooth as a baby's. Don't like your hair? Forget about your God-given mane. There are hair extensions, clip-ons, a range of new exciting hair colours to choose from. Want to fit into a dress? There are detox diets, extreme transformations, unrealistic body ideals, all being marketed to us. All we have to do is be willing to dole out the money. The obsession with perfection in physical appearance is steadily fueled by clever marketing, and social media is leading this endeavor. What about the perfect smile? Straight white teeth that gleam and dazzle everyone. Enter Cosmetic Dentistry, where you can get a set of pearly whites as long as you're willing to pay a hefty sum. From celebrities, influencers to your neighbour, everyone is rushing to their dentist for the perfect red carpet smile. The Hollywood smile, as some say. But what happens when the desire to look perfect turns dangerous? when your pearly whites turn into pearly frights. Well, this has happened in the UK. A dental trend known as turkey teeth has made some gasp and others laugh. It has more than 130 million views on TikTok. And for those who are going under the knife soon for a cosmetic change, it may be a wake-up call. Turkey teeth involves travelling abroad specifically to Turkey to get a cheaper dental treatment. The trend emerged when popular English personality Katie Price spoke about her pearly whites. That's not all. Reality TV show Love Island winner Jack Wincham caught everyone's eye in 2018 for his gleaming teeth. He even boasted about it. 
he had travelled to Antalya for a fresh set of veneers. So much so that the city was dubbed Dentalya after tourists flooded its shores seeking dental treatments. This procedure involves filling the teeth to pegs and then replacing them with crowns or veneers. You can choose the shape, the material, the color of these caps. Essentially, a customized smile. Cut to 2022. These pearly whites are falling off. UK dentists have warned that this supposedly cheaper treatment is going to lead you to a mountain of medical bills later. With many dental complications, the proof is in the pudding. A woman who had flown to Turkey to get the 26 veneers has now complained of nerve sensitivity and unbearable pain. So much so, she is unable to eat and is on a cocktail of painkillers. UK dentists are now warning against this viral trend and refusing to treat patients who have sought treatment abroad. They say it's a nightmare for them. We often see the perfect smile as a symbol of beauty. Many even see glowing white teeth as a symbol of wealth. Open social media and you'll see teeth whitening and realignment procedures being advertised. There's a larger problem here. Our obsession with looking perfect. Our desire to fix our perceived flaws. To throw money at trends and medical procedures. It's affecting our mental and physical health. In the age of body positivity and body acceptance, it's high time we accept ourselves in both body and mind. We're not saying don't seek medical intervention. We are saying stop pandering to viral trends. In your quest for the perfect set of pearly whites, you may be left without any teeth. Velvet beds, relaxing spa treatments, a swimming pool for some exercise, this is not for any of us, unfortunately. It's for our pampered pooches. In our next story, we take you inside a luxury hotel solely for our pets. We'll tell you how they relax, how they unwind. After all, our furry friends also deserve some downtime, right? I have come to Sector 56 in Gurugram to visit India's first pet hotel. Now this business has just shifted to this new location, so let me show you around. Hello, is this your place? Yeah. It's brand new or you just uh, shifted to this location, is it? Or? Why don't you show me around a little bit, uh, what facilities you have here? This is for the grooming area. Hi. 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 A cool dog. Yes. The eyes are amazing. Here we do the oil massages for them. Oil massage? <laughs> yes, we yeah. do the oil massage for them. Wow. Yes. Hey, sit, Speedy. So it looks the oil. quite glamorous. So that's, the, up, yeah. <laughs> that's the whole idea behind it. I thought dogs just need food, but they need yeah, a lot of extra we things have too. Protein powders. Protein powder? Yes, we do. These are the protein powders that we have for them. This is protein powder yes, for dogs? Yes, this is for dogs. If they want to get like yes. buff. Then we have these wipes for them. These are face this wipes. Wet, this wipes. Yes. wet wipes yes, for wet dogs? Wipes for yeah. Yes. This, is a, this is a whole new world for me. It you is, know? it is. And this is the toothpaste for them. Toothpaste? Yes. Then we have very good fragrances for the They brush perfume. teeth too? They do, they do. These are the perfumes for them. Itch wipes as well. There are a lot of dogs, they, mm. they itch a lot, so there are specific wipes which come for itching. Dental treats, roast chicken strips. This yeah. is some gourmet stuff here, huh? 
This is some special stuff, huh? grain-free, gluten-free, all-natural, high-protein, low-fat, no fillers. Yes, yes. So this, is, this is for a good lifestyle. This is for the good dog life. This is eight, ten years old story. We lost our own dog, Blackie, German Shepherd we had. And uh, that time we never had good places to take them for grooming and all. So he got the infection from one of the grooming places. And by the time we realized, it was very late. We got to know, I mean, a year later, he had all the tumors and infection in his body. And they were not good vets who could, you know, treat him. So we tried for one, one and a half years, but then uh, eventually we lost him. So after losing him, I wanted a good place, a hygienic place basically, because I lost him because of the unhygiene, which is there around in the places. People love to keep dogs, but then there are not good places to take them out for boarding or for uh, basic bathing. It's difficult to manage them at home, you know. It's, it's not easy to make them uh, do the shampoo and haircut. You need professionals for that. We offer a lot of services under one roof. The idea was opening a place where people don't have to hop from one place to another for different services. So we do bathing, we do shampoo, we do haircuts, we give them oil massages as well. Then we do uh, night boarding services. People have to travel for a month or 15 days or for like whenever, whatever thing, the meeting or anything. We provide the night boardings. We have daycare facility as well. I'm very protective about my dog, right? Everybody is. But like, he's my first dog. So like he is the spoiled brat of the house. So we're all extremely protective about him as if where we're leaving him, what he's eating, what he's doing. We have our eyes on him 24-7. So when I first left him like at Tritrati, I felt that comfort. <laughs> he's like, don't, don't even try. So this is the play area where the dogs are playing with each other all day and they've segregated this area into three different sections with a big fence in between. Now that's of course very handy in case the dogs don't get along or if some dogs just don't want to hang out with other dogs, they just want to be alone. You should take a look at the different categories of rooms they have for these dogs to stay in. There's uh, family rooms for up to three dogs, there's twin rooms for two dogs, and there's two categories of single rooms, standard and deluxe. And they do look quite luxurious. Uh, I found that, oh my God, it must be really expensive, it's too fancy, you know, that's what my mindset was. But uh, coming here, I feel it's pretty affordable, honestly and the services are very good a lot of good services under one roof and i'm really impressed with the boarding downstairs after setting up this new facility in gurugram janvi plans to expand the business to other cities as well and for dog lovers who would like to lend a helping hand kriterati likes to welcome volunteers on board show thanks for watching the good life with me priyanka sharma send us in all your queries and your feedback on the show and stay tuned to beyond on the good life next week we'll get you more stories and this happens to be your one-stop destination for all things food fitness and fashion